Welcome back everybody to a very interesting last day on earth. I was gonna say season 18, but this technically isn't. There's a little asterisk right after that. Last day on earth released a bug fix update today. And in that update, this popped up. Interesting, right? But I will get into all of that in a quick second. As always, if you haven't already, consider subscribing, join my Discord, follow my Twitter, you know the drill, let's get into it. So a little while later, they did go and fix it. Now it says season 17, and since they didn't change the picture or any noticeable difference between the pictures, I'm inclined to believe that this is the image for season 17, or maybe it's just that generalized artwork anyways. Regardless, I'm putting season 18 in the title because originally it said 18, and why would they list 18? I don't know why the bug would show 18 as opposed to 17. My guess is it was scheduled to be 18, this artwork scheduled to appear for 18, that being, and it ended up coming early, and then they just panicked and flipped it to 17. But again, I'm just speculating. Now, I suppose I really need to back up a second. Why these pictures matter. So, as you remember, I think it was like season 10 onward, they've released the same picture with that LDUE character sitting on a crate. It says like, it says the same caption, new activities, new rewards, and much more in the new season of Last Day on Earth, stay in touch, survivors. Same caption, both now and in the past. But previously, they've only released that one image, like season 10 onward or something like that. And it's been that set image ever since, and I have a sneaking suspicion it's because of these videos. You know what? I'm not going there, okay? But if we go back a little bit, season 8. Here's season 8. Season 8, if you remember, was the fair. There was the show, there was all of the events that you could play, stuff like that to celebrate LDUE's third year anniversary or something like that. Anywho, but that picture was surprisingly accurate. Granted, it was a little bit tweaked for artwork aesthetic purposes, as in like, you know, armor showing up that really shouldn't show up. But other than that, it was accurate to the season in the fact that what was displayed on the picture was accurate to what ended up coming in the season. There was an LDUE character singing on the stage, and it ended up, you know, being the fair, as opposed to season 10 onward, where the LDUE character was just sitting on a box, polishing a shotgun, and that never ended up going anywhere. That was just a teaser image. But now that they're putting official images back, it can either go one of two ways. One, people complained enough, and they ended up flipping the picture. Or two, more accurately, or what I think it might end up being, LDUE is using this as a teaser for season 17 slash 18, whatever this might end up being. As I said, I have a sneaking suspicion this was for 18, they just ended up changing it because, you know, it shouldn't say 18, but that's just a theory. Anywho, let's get to the image specifically. What does this image have? Let's mine it for info. Now, that far zombie on the left is a police-ish zombie. It's definitely a zombie we've seen before with that kind of shirt. So that doesn't strike me as anything new next to that zombie is that reddish zombie. It's got like those red splotches. We've definitely seen this. I can't remember if it's in the lab or if it's in the season or something like that, but we've definitely seen that kind of zombie before. Same thing with that zombie sort of next to it over there. That tall zombie uh, is like the pale bloater. I can't remember these names. And then right next to that, in, or in front of that technically, is another zombie that we've seen in the season. And then we can't really tell what zombie that is with that hand. And the zombie riding the train is a slasher. You can see sort of its dark colors and how the shirt is, and that would indicate a slasher. Now, two things two people have pointed out to me. Number one, the armor is SWAT armor. Yes, but no, I don't think it's like modified SWAT armor. You might notice those blues and stuff, and that's not 100% accurate to the game. But again, we do need to take these things with a grain of salt. A lot of this stuff is done for art aesthetic purposes but it's also pretty accurate to the game, so, you know, keep that in mind. But no, I don't think realistically we're gonna be able to modify SWAT armor. Anything that says that is probably clickbait. Yeah. And then another thing people pointed out to me is the character is swinging a machete with their left hand. You might notice in LDUE, every single time a character is swinging a machete, it's from the right hand. However, I think this is also done for art aesthetic purposes. No, I don't think there's going to be dominant and less dominant hands coming in, in this next season of LDUE. That seems a little bit far off and doesn't feel like it fits the LDUE realism filter, which again, we're continuing to stress because this is an LDUE teaser. You have to put things in the LDUE realism context. And then I've put it off for long enough right now. The part that I'm sure every video is going to go off on. 
the train and the factory. Let's start with the factory-ish thing right over there. You might notice it's the foresty area. So if I had to guess where this image was like art aesthetically taken, it would be that factory that they've sort of teased that's by your house location. I'll put up a picture on the screen right now. Like right around there or something like that because it makes sense given the context of the game. If those were necessarily like oak trees, I think we would see more of those oak colors. If these were ash trees, we would see more of a swampy aesthetic feel to that. So no, I don't believe this is new wood or anything like that. And no, I don't believe this is new location OMG factory confirmed. No, this ties into the teases that they've already given. And again, we're keeping with the LDW context. In the LDW context, it does not make sense to say OMG factory coming. We would see more of an indication if that were the case. And then the train. Now, in all honesty, I think the train is just there for decor. I'm not gonna say OMG repairable train, OMG. That seems a little bit far-fetched. I think, again, there would be more of an indication in the fact of OMG train, and we would see more details about that. So no, I do not believe repairable trains, I do not believe we're going to be able to build a train, or any of that sort, within the next LDE updates that does not fit the LDE realism context. One thing I do want to bring up with Season 18 before we move on to the other half of this teaser, sorry multiplayer people, but if you look at this screenshot, there's no indication of multiplayer. There's no signs of other players in that shot with you, which LDUE has abused before in marketing purposes, but if there was really a multiplayer update, I really think that that image would have more than one person, because LDUE would want to hype up the multiplayer scene. Second off, we can notice this is sort of single player aesthetics. These zombies, like the pale zombies, appear in seasons, and seasons more specifically in single player. So I apologize multiplayer people, season 18 is looking more and more likely to be yet another single player season. I don't think that leaves enough room then for the next major update, or I guess technically the last update of the year to be a multiplayer update, unless they really scrunch it. Usually updates are like one every month or so, and then assuming this one is like October-ish, then the last one would be like November, December-ish area. I guess technically maybe there's a little bit of wiggle room for a multiplayer update, but realistically Season 18 doesn't look like it's gearing up to be that. And then the last little thing I want to bring up, this relates more to Season 17 and not 18 or any theory around that. This one is 100% confirmed 17 as indicated by the teaser. This was the teaser that LDU posted on their YouTube page about what's coming in Season 17. Now obviously we have to take this with a grain of salt. This is a teaser, not the actual update trailer. Teasers are done with one very specific reason, to create hype. A lot of this stuff in the teaser is aesthetic. We can obviously indicate that, you know, all of their teasers, yes, they show like so much mystery and hints and all of that, and then we go to it and it's just like a one-time event. So obviously take it with a grain of salt. Don't think that there's going to be, you know, big one fighting in the bush. There's not Pump Jack hidden in the background or something like that. It's a little extreme, if I'm gonna be honest. I suppose at the very least, Season 17, you're going to get a chance to obtain storage for decorations. So what I'm really thinking of it, especially from this image they've provided right here, is um, pretty much think of it like the medicine cabinet, think of it like the fridge, think of it like the warehouse, but for storage items. At least that's what I would guess. Um, yeah. Cool, I guess we get another chest. I mean, more storage is always good. I'm not complaining there. But, very interesting. Uh, worth pointing in the video. Yeah. Anywho, that's 17. Anywho, I think that's going to do it with this breakdown video from me. Season 17, season 18, whatever you want to call it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you believe that this is something, some giant enigma mystery, whatever? Or do you believe that it's just LDWE being weird again and update hype, I guess? I don't know. Yeah. Um, bug fix was interesting. Anywho, subscribe. Last time for Quacktember. Maybe. Maybe I'll do another video in September. I don't know. ZD out.